Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps, Kaler. Uh, I have connected my Belkin HDMI 2.1 cable to my PlayStation 4 Pro, and I'm using Sony X900E. What I'm trying to test here is I'm just trying to test to see how well does the motion flow works with Belkin HDMI 2.1 cable. And let me show you my settings really quick here. So let me just go ahead and do that. In terms of motion flow, I want to show you my... advanced settings right here let's go to uh, motion as you can see my smoothness it's set to the maximum on a custom and cine motion it's set to high smoothness means that i'm trying to avoid as much judder as possible so that's what i'm testing here i would not touch the clearness i would keep the clearness at minimum because that's all it's going to do is going to dim your screen if you move it all the way to the uh, minimum. So I use custom. I use smooth and then Cinemotion High. So that's what I'm using here. This is Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, this is Audi. I guess it's available right now. Uh, there was a new update for Gran Turismo Sport. I'm not sure what the update consists of. I probably assume there's more cars. And uh, from what I heard, they have improved the stability of the game a little bit better. So. So there's a Ford GT40, uh, Aston Martin. Uh, this is the list of the cars that are available right now. They were added right now on this new update for Gran Turismo Sport. So there's a lot of goodies here. That's cool. Um, there's a new Sukuba Circuit Red Bull Junior uh, Series. So there's a bunch of content. The VR time trial has been added to the VR Tour mode. You can now enjoy time trials in 360 degree view 3D environment. Oh, that's cool. So they have a time trial. That's cool. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do a quick race just to kind of uh, check and see how well uh, it looks. Remember, I'm not testing the picture quality here. I'm only testing the uh, motion flow. I want to see how well the motion flow is uh, on this uh, HDMI 2.1 Belkin cable. And I'm looking at the fast moving pictures right now. I don't see any jutter. Uh, I have moved my motion flow all the way the smoothness, it's all the way to high, so I don't see any judder. Like, there's no judder being noticeable here. It's almost, it's non-existent. And this is the, really what Sony is doing. And, and Sony X1 chip, it's really powerful. Uh, the one I have is the, the first generation. The, the second generation, which is the uh, extreme chip, it's even more better. And that's the chip that's on uh, A1E OLED. That's the one I'm going to be getting by the end of the summer. Uh, obviously, the one that I really want to get, it's the Ultimate X1 chip. The, that, that Ultimate X1 chip, I don't think we'll even know what the judder means. That's the kind of like power you'll be getting with the motion flow. But look guys, Sony X900E or 930E, it's definitely uh, my choice to go with in terms of uh, 4K LED televisions. And if you really want to get your first 4K television, the 900E is, is a great choice or you can go with the 930E. If you can stretch to 930E, go with the 930E. 
Uh, and yes, uh, I'll be getting the A1e OLED by the end of August. Uh, I'm only going to be getting it because of price cut. And I want to do a bunch of tests on it for two-year warranty. So that's why. All right, let's do a, a, a one quick race. I just want to see how well it handles the motion flow. All right, so here we go. Um, I really don't notice any judder. Uh, this really shows you, even this first generation uh, Extreme, not the Extreme, I'm sorry, the, uh, the basic X1 first generation chip. Uh, it really shows you just how powerful this chip still is. Now, if you do have a 930E or Z9D uh, or A1E, you're going to be introduced to the uh, uh, X1 Extreme processing chip. That X1 Extreme processing chip, uh, it's even better. You guys can ask my friend uh, Dirty Sprite and he will tell you it's just fantastic. Uh, if you love soap opera effect, if you love motion flow, then you're definitely going to... Uh, enjoy that x1 extreme processing chip and this is why i recommend oled from a1e from from sony and i think that sony a1e is definitely the best oled you can get in terms of uh processing uh power because that chip that's inside that oled tv it's it's really good and on top of that you're really getting a good quality speakers uh very sophisticated speakers all of this stuff I'm going to go through once I get my A1E and I'll explain it. But like, as you can see, there's no judder here. Everything works smooth. Maybe I can switch to, uh, let me go, uh, go to my advanced settings. Here we go. Let's move it down a bit like that. Uh, that's it, like that. And here, as you can see, it's run smooth, no problems, no issues. No judder, none. Even when I'm moving my thumbstick here, uh, you don't see any judder. I'm doing this on purpose, just to test to see if there's any judder. Nothing. Hold on, let me adjust my uh, picture here really quick. I'll go to advanced settings. There we go. I'm doing this on purpose just to see if there's any judder. Remember, I'm testing for a judder to see if there's any noticeable judder. None. None whatsoever. You're not going to see it here. Alright, so uh, before I end the video, just remember this is what I'm using. Let me show you really quick. Uh, advanced settings I'm using smoothness custom motion flow smoothness set to the maximum and cine motion set to high and yes I am using a HDMI 2.1 cable from Belkin does it help well you know that that high speed transfer data definitely adds a little bit of uh, stability so there you have it Alright guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.